Hello YouTube and welcome to another Art of Craft video and in this one I'm going to be sort of going over sort of pretty much everything we did in that really long video because I know there's a few audio issues that's really long so not everybody wanted to watch all of it you might not have got everything because it was all sort of a big massive uh, information so you know it's quite a lot to take in so I'm going to quickly go over some of the more important bits and also show you how to get the mod so the mod's the most important thing so we're going to do that first and then last five minutes I'll just sort of go over the key um, topics we discussed in the video. So, first thing you want to do is come to this website, which is artcraft.me. That's all you have to type in. Just go to Google, type in artcraft.me, and you come to this. And then you can go into the mod pack section at the top. So it's the third one along, home, forums, mod pack. And that will take you to this page. So this tells you how to install the mod and how to download the mod. So. You first need to install Forge for Minecraft 1.7.10, download the mod pack and drag its contents into your .minecraft folder, run the Minecraft launcher, select the Forge profile and run the game, connect the server at mc.artcraft.me. So that is the um, IP address, you just type in mc.artcraft.me and that's how you join the server. Similar to dacraft.playart.ch because that's the Dacraft one, which is where most people watching this video will be from. Um, downloading Forge. I'm not actually going to go into detail about downloading Forge because most of you will already have it for Optifine and Conquest anyway. And there are thousands of tutorials on how to install Forge out there. Lord Dac has got one on his channel where he does um, Forge, Optifine. Uh, shaders, uh, light loader, I think, and something else. Might be like cam, camera, studio, moving stuff. But anyway, so these, uh, this link right at the bottom is the one that we're interested in. You've got obviously the textures are based off the Conquest pack in the mod, uh, not made by Monster Fish, made by different people. Uh, Wheelie, I think, is the main head texturer. Uh, you've also got a few other people that do textures, and this is download here that's the one you want to click so when you click download it will come up here and I've already downloaded it so we're just going to cancel it that'll take a couple minutes to download it's not a huge file so once that's downloaded you want to go to your downloads folder so we go to my downloads folder and you can see I've got it here so the first thing we want to do is extract those files and you don't have to do it here you can do it um, you can put it to your desktop you can put it to your documents you put it anywhere I'm just doing it in my downloads folder it's messy enough anyway so in here we have everything that we need so you've also got the forge install for 1.7.10 so that's really ha helpful right off the bat so you can install that make sure minecraft's running fine select the forge uh, profile when you open up minecraft run that make sure everything's working fine before you go any further so once that's installed you then need to open up your dot minecraft folder now there's a few ways to do this if you've got minecraft open you can just go to your resource pack and then go to open resource pack folder and then go back one or if you're using windows it's percent app data percent and then you go to dot minecraft so these are the two main things that we need if i drag that over there no that didn't work how do you do it it's that one and that one so now i've got the mod folder here and the dot minecraft folder here so as you can see i've already got these files in here or some of them at least I'm going to get this top on the AC blocks pack and just drag it over into the .minecraft folder. That doesn't have to go anywhere in particular, just as long as it's in this folder. So you can see I've just got these two here and they are the blocks and the textures in these folders. It's like the new fancy blocks. Um, next you want to drag the config file. So the AC blocks folder inside that config file, you're going to take to this config file in your .minecraft and just drop that in there. So you'll have like forge stuff in there as well. Um, now we're going to go to mods. So mods, this is where you've got all this stuff here. Now the only one that you really need is the forge mod pack, which is the one at right at the top. You can also get Optifine if you don't already have Optifine. Tabby chat, I'm not sure what that one does. Light loader, I don't use light loader. And better foliage, I don't really like it, but I am actually going to put it in there. So if I drag the better foliage one, drop it into my mods folder there, and you can see it's in there, and there are the ones I've got. They're my mods. I've got shaders, Optifine, better foliage, because I've just moved that over now, and the Forge mod pack. So that's that. That's 
the hardest bit done. You also have optional uh, mods, so you've got shaders and camera studio as well, but uh, we don't need those, I've already got shaders installed. Uh, the last thing to do is resource packs. So you want to drag all four of these into the resource packs folder. You see I've got them in there, I've also got LD Modern and the Normal Conquest. You will need the Normal Conquest as well because um, they've kind of stopped using the new Conquest updates, if that makes sense. So when you're stacking these as well, I'll actually go into Minecraft to show you because that's everything that we need to do now. You've also got instructions here which sort of tell you how to do that. They recommend running a clean version of Minecraft. Um, you, you don't really need to as long as you just do these little steps and just drag them into the separate places but if you do run into problems doing it this way the way I've just shown you then um, I'd recommend starting with a fresh version of Minecraft and uh, going through all these stages again and everything should work fine you've also got credits so you know people who have all the mods and who've made all the mods and all that sort of stuff there you go monster fish for conquest wheelie making textures and you've got all these other stuff as well so let's just close that because we're done with all those and we can open up minecraft and actually check out this mod so i'm going to see i've got forge here is my uh the version of minecraft that we'll be using which is 1.7.10 over here click play wait for that to load it'll take a couple of seconds Come on. Okay. So, that's called Ardcraft. So, Ardcraft is Ardcraft. So, Ardcraft is a Lord of the Rings server. Hopefully, you will have got that from the video, and that's why you're watching this video. They're aiming to recreate Middle Earth um, solely based on the books. So, if you've watched the films, I mean, it's great. The films are great, and they've got some good stuff in them, but they might not be accurate to the books, and they're trying to go completely book law heavy. Um, when it comes to places that aren't really discussed in the books, properly that's where your creativity can take over so you don't have to um, completely base this all off one thing so like it doesn't have to be like oh Tolkien didn't say that was the so you can't have that the if he didn't say that it was the but did say that it was wasn't there um, you know it's up to interpretation for example in the video we're walking through Bree and there's a cemetery in Bree and he's got like a little crypt I mean it, it, there's no talk about there being a crypt there but since Monster added the bone texture he thought that would be a really cool idea so they've added that just a little extra secret kind of thing there's loads of little stuff like that all over the place right, so now we're actually in game we're going to go to resource packs and you've got all these resource packs here you're want, going to want to have the AC Conquest 2.5 on top I'll actually get conquest out of there and then all the other ones doesn't really matter about the order they can all go on top so I think these two maybe actually these three are um, all to do with sound I know these two are definitely sound that one might be as well I'm not sure what the MSI conversion is might be something different but basically you want the AC conquest pack and then the other three on top so you click done that'll take a second because there's a lot of stuff to process there and then once that's done you can start to type in the address to get onto the server and it's taking forever again isn't it here we go so you click done so now you go to multiplayer you're going to go add server i've already got it here which is Ardcraft. if i do edit you can see i've just put mc.ardcraft.me that is the server address press done join server and here we are, so well, this is the plot world, so this is actually a good idea, so you do slash main, uh, no, sorry, slash server main, and this will take you to the main server, so this, I was last in Bree, which is where I am, but it will, I think, spawn you at Bag End, that sounds like, seems about the right place, and you can see I've got the better foliage mod installed now, so I've got leaves everywhere, and actually this doesn't look as bad as I thought it would, Maybe I am slowly going to start liking this mod. But yeah, so you've got the better foliage there. Uh, you've got all these little mod blocks. You've got trap doors for benches. You've got the painted hobbit doors. You've got loads of cool stuff. And all the road blocks as well. And you can just go and explore. And I think the map at the moment is 7,000 by 3,000 blocks. And it's just the Shire and Breland areas. And there are 
about halfway, maybe 40% of the way through. Um, I'm just going to hide the chat so I'm not getting distracted. So yeah, that's sort of the idea behind that. Just then you can warp around, there's a huge list of warps and if you go onto the um, website you can go look at the diner map so you can see exactly how big it is. I've shown that off as well at the end of the last video. Now to actually start building on this server, they are a bit picky about who they want to build, obviously because they want a quality control on the server, because you can see this is so, so nice, it's so planned out and it looks brilliant. So to do that you're going to do slash server plots, and then you come to the plot world. So you'll know how to use plot worlds if you're part of Dakacraft, you're going to build something and looking around it doesn't look like you need to do a complete plot there's a lot of things it's just like one sort of building and this is just to show your skill level so that they know where best to utilize you and what styles you seem to like more as you can see someone's just done a plot here which is a bit of wilderness so you know it's stuff for like if you don't want to do maybe houses you don't think that's what you're best at but you like doing trees you like doing making nice terrain, there's a, still a place for you in the survey, obviously this is like a little marshland, a little stream, so you know there's lots of things that you can do and they do like you to get on here so that you get used to the mod pack, you get used to the new blocks and you can test all that stuff. Um, what else is there? So once you've done that then you need to go to the uh, website, so I can do that for you now, we go to website and you go to forums and there is a builder application so you click builder application and you type your name how old you are all these details here and your plot ID so you put your plot ID in they can go check out your plot ID and then if they think it's good enough um, they will give you the builder rank and then straight away from builder rank you can start building in areas that you want to help out in if you want to help out in Bree you could have like a house to yourself I think or you'd have to talk to them about it about exactly how they want to utilize you and you can also apply so if maybe you wanted to do a small hobbit village of like you know f five to seven houses you can do um, project applications as well which is here projects so you can apply to get that area done and then you can be your own little leader of that specific region but of course it's all open to interpretation it's all down to what they say in the end I'm not saying that you're guaranteed to be able to do this um, somebody also might have the same idea as you might want to do that and they might have a better application than you or you might have a better application than them so I'm just saying you know it's it, it, it's not a guarantee that you're going to be able to do your own thing and obviously it all comes down to um, being Lord of the Rings related if it's not if you build something that's not really Lord of the Rings related or it's not law related so if you start building um, I don't know like orc stuff in the middle of the Shire I don't think that's going to work out well so it'll probably be um, removed so don't get too disheartened if something like that happens that's just uh, your own thing. But that's it guys, so I've just shown you how to install the mod, how to use the texture packs, um, how to get between the different servers, so if I do server main again, and we get here, so this is obviously Bag End and Hobbiton, and I love this so much, it's just beautiful, um, definitely going to be taking lots of inspiration from here for my Hobbit Village, um, it's just amazing. Just wow, uh, but yeah, and then you can just walk around to all the other places as well. And the people, the staff on here, the people on here, the players, they're all friendly. You can all like, just have a chat with them. They're a small community at the moment, looking to grow quite big over the summer. So if you get in now, you'll be having a good chance uh, for the future when you get other projects and other sections of the map um, uploaded. Because I think once they finish with. Uh, the Shire and the Breland, they'll be moving on to places like Rivendell, the mountains, uh, Moria, uh, moving down to the south, obviously getting to Rohan, stuff like that. I mean, this is like way, way, way down the line, <laughs> but you know, that, that is the plan. So, you, if you want to get in now, sort of on the ground floor, why you can, this is a great opportunity for you. So, I hope this video has helped. If it has, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.